It's one of the great college entrants that you'll see when Virginia Tech takes the field to the strains of Enter Sandman. Yes, it's another football Saturday in Blacksburg, Virginia. The ACC Network presents ACC Football, the surprise team of the conference, the Duke Blue Devils, coming into town to take on the Virginia Tech Hokies. As the throw, Renfrey has time over the middle, has a man, Jamison, out there complete. Jamison Crowder beats the man, Fuller goes all the way for a touchdown. Out of Solon, Ohio, eight of nine on field goals, as long as 35. This is a 40-yarder, and he got it. And this one's going to be 28 yards. Kick is up, and it is good. Thomas has time to swing to Gregory. Can't hang on, and it's picked off. Touchdown, Jordan Bias. What the fuck is fuck? So Roberts. <laughs> They're on the field, and a handoff comes to Gregory. They go right back to Tony Gregory, and it's the way a lot of faith in you. The offense going. Handoff to Gregory. First through the hole. And Gregory is close to a first down. He may have it at the 48-yard line. Thomas to throw. As Roberts out there wants Davis complete. Marcus Davis complete at the four-yard line. Lee I get a play-action fake. It's bump and run on the outside. Lee Butler, Marcus Davis. Look at Marcus gear down and go back and catch the football. We talked to Marcus Davis yesterday. 40-yard gain. Here comes Greg. And this is going to be... Scales for the touchdown. Martin Scales, the fifth-year senior, scores from four yards out. We talked about the Patrick. They go to their big group. You got Phillips, the fullback, with the lead block, and then Scales, the bigger of the tailbacks, pounds it in. Good block by Phillips out front, number 45, that allowed Scales to get in the end zone. Scales is pass out complete to Roberts. Darrell Roberts breaks the tackle and. He's got enough for a first down. They mark him out to the 30-yard line. Corey Fuller and Dyrell Roberts are outside. Watch Fuller, 83. He's going to block one. Roberts has to make the other miss. Bias is the guy he makes miss. Guys in a room just looking at their cell phones. Thomas to throw. Has a man out there. That's done. Complete. And he's brought down by Candy, but that not before he gets to the Duke 30-yard line. A 35-yard gain. And box. Little play action fake, which is usually your most solid protection. Good job of keeping Logan Thomas clean. And then done with a little fake to the outside against Canty. And does a good job of squeezing it with the this. First and ten, Duke. Snap problem. Boone picks it up. And picking him up is James Gale. Boone looks. Watch Crowder deep. Picked off Michael Holmes at the six. Holmes eludes two tacklers and he's brought down. And to his young quarterback, Anthony Boone. But he's expecting a post route here. Crowder breaks it off across the middle. And this is just playing center field on a deep fly ball for Michael Cole. Nice play by the safety. First turnover for Duke this afternoon. And give. Wants to throw to him and then tucks it under and run. Nice play action. And Thomas gets up to the 40-yard line. Austin Ganza. And I don't think this is by design either. I think that he wanted to throw the football, but he pulled it down. He saw that Jordan Bias had read the screen. This is what I was talking about. Get also, on David Helton. First and 10. Pass is complete. It's to Davis. And Butler will chase him out of bounds, but he gets another 12 yards on the play and another first down. But the Davis coming across the same way. Same play. And it goes to Coleman. Canty. Table, here he comes again. This time Thomas gets in behind him, and look at him go. Thomas inside the 20 down to about the 16-yard line. Consistency in this offense. Well, Steve, this is kind of what I talked about early, uh, late second quarter, late first quarter. you got to get back to Logan Thomas moving around. Maybe this is a 37-yard kick. Three along 42. It is up, and it splits the uprights good. Down in 10, and a 13 to go. Duke with two timeouts, and he'll go down with a sack this time. Luther Maddy. 
talent at the front four, not to be pressured in the quarterback. Maddie again wins over Tom Tom the hammer. Good job by Scott to squeeze the football. 38 seconds remain. Renfrey throw for Vernon. Picked off after the deflection. It's Bonner. Dietrich Bonner puts inside, and Virginia Tech's got the ball at the 41 yard line. Deception by Bonner. Now, this looks like Virginia Tech football closing. The ball off the hands of Vernon. The ball he should probably catch. But taking the football away is really what Virginia Tech's been about over the last several years. And Bonner sets his offense up. Has one timeout left. 24 seconds to go. Ball downfield. He has Davis complete touchdown. Logan Thomas sees the blown coverage. Davis sees it as well. Well thrown ball. He does not overthrow him. He realizes he can get some trajectory on the football. Let's take a look why. Here's Braxton, the safety. They're expecting help. Cockrell's helping, expecting help from the safety, and he doesn't get it. He gets no safety help. And Davis sees it, just runs right by him. Boy, good read by the quarterback. Good read by Davis. And just like that. The Hokies have clawed themselves all the way back. Game, although they only trail here 2017. Right up over the middle of the coverage. Complete to the tight end, Malik. It's a first down for Virginia Tech. Matchup against Pius, and he wins. Number 88 right down the pipe. Good job by Logan Thomas to throw it up there where his big... We should hook up, and it's first and ten. Virginia Tech in good territory. Coleman on the sweep. Good block by the linebacker, and he's on his way. Coleman to the end zone. Virginia Tech in the lead for the first time today. Here's the freshman high formation stretch play. And they talked about it yesterday. We got a chance to talk to Frank Beamer. He's excited for the edge. Here's Becton the tackle. Malik, they're going to build a wall right here. Fullback going to come out and kick the corner. And all Coleman has to do is run today. Like secure the edge. Kick out by Phillips. And the young kid gets the Jets turned on. And Florida State out of a 63 lead, but did not finish the deal. Here is Coleman running with a purpose, and he's still on his feet. Bias will bring him down. He's got the first down. Game, I think he really turned the tide for him. They're down in about eight. The throw, Thomas, pass complete. And that's after Randall Dunn. Well, Steve, coming in, the tight ends really hadn't been that big a factor, but they've made some big catches. This is the second catch for Dunn today. Made a big one. Virginia Tech, three of seven, here on third down. Thomas has time, has a man deep. That is Davis. Touchdown! For the second time today. Seven-yard connection to Marcus Davis. Eight-man coverage. He's just got to backpedal and keep running, but for some reason he sets it down, and Davis runs right by. No reason for him to stop running. He had no responsibilities underneath. The Hokies making the homecoming crowd happy. Thomas for the second day connecting with Marcus Davis. It comes at a price, but it also comes with six points. Out of the shotgun, run free on second and ten. Here comes the pressure inside, and he's going down. Had good initial time, and then the pressure got to him. Virginia Tech knows it. Fuller, Dimitri Knowles, Tyrell Roberts, high snap. Thomas has to keep some draw play. <laughs> Logan Thomas pulls his way to the 26-yard line, a gain of 11. Minus 41. Right down the middle of the field. Really? He crashed the holder, the kick is up, and it is good. Blitz is on, he's down again. James Gale on skin. At the line of scrimmage, you gotta get the ball out of your hands, though. He's gotta get the ball out. Ball's gotta come out. Crowder's right there on this crossing route, number three. That ball's gotta come out. Team. Bad snap, he'll have to eat it again. Gale is there. Jack Tyler is there. See how bad this snap is. Yeah, low and to the right. Renfrey has a tough time trying to get his hands around. Did a good job of taking it to a tight end. He's 6'6. 
Sneed on a late handoff is snuffed out there. Aided by the inter interference penalty. Here's Boone to call the touchdown. No. Looking for Blakeney in the end zone. Good coverage by Jarrett. The play fake's supposed to freeze 34, but he doesn't freeze at all. He just flows the football and knocks it away. So excellent job by Jarrett not to be fooled by play action. Thompson is split wide out to the top side. There goes same play. Highest into the end zone. It is incomplete. Good coverage by Dietrich Bonner on a pass attempt to Blakeney. On the field, Virginia Tech holds. They'll have the football when we come back following this timeout. Steve Martin here along with Dave Archer and Mike Hogwood. Handoff comes to J.C. Coleman and he breaks blocks. And he may be on his way. Has Candy to beat. No one's going to catch him, I don't think. Coleman, touchdown, Virginia Tech. Second touchdown run for the true freshman. Well, let's take a look at the blocking up front. You got to get the, eel, the edge sealed, which you do. And then Coleman, we talked about it. If Coleman hits the open field, it's over. You can go ahead and turn the lights out as you, as you get to the door because he's got great speed and he's just sticking in the end zone. Renfrey looking for Crowder. You won't find him. Tyrell Wilson for the fourth sack of the day. That they talked about last year with him. Let the ball go. He's got Connor Vernon one on one. Let it go. But he's holding on to the football. Ball out to the 37 yard line of Virginia Tech. He's tipped as he goes with it. Virginia Tech recovers. And it's going to be Hokey football on the third turnover of the day. All right, let's look at the pressure here. Dottie, uh, Nicholas is going to come around the edge and strip the ball out. Outstanding job by Nicholas to rake it out. And, of course, the big fella, Luther Matty, who's been in the backfield a lot today, got the recovery. But good job this week and, and playing extremely hard. Even though they were down 20 to nothing, they continued to battle and got themselves back. And that, more than anything, could probably be very beneficial to how the rest of this season goes. The ball went down on the ground, and it's ruled a fumble by the linesman, and Virginia Tech has it back. Well, and here it comes off. Like Van Dyke got in there at the end, the freshman linebacker, and knocked it out. And Frank Beamer talks with David Cutcliffe and uh, says, hey, you had us down 20 to nothing. You imagine what was going down? <laughs> right. The Virginia Tech Hokies win 41 to 20 over the Duke Blue Devils next Saturday.